Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so, so excited to be bringing God's truths to you today. Hey, today is the 1st of December. Now listen, we've been waiting for this month of December. I don't know about you, but you see, God is going to do things that will blow your mind. Now, He's not just, when I say He will do things that will blow your mind, He's not just, I'm not just telling you to, to psych you up. I'm telling you the truth. How do I know? By the things the Spirit of God have been laying in my heart. Listen, the month of December, there is a great opportunity for your rising. Now, I said opportunity because it's not all about God. Now, God is willing. The question is, are you ready? Praise God. Listen, we are going to see a kind of lifting that we never you know, sometimes you look at yourself and look at where you've been and you want to project your movement and you try to plot your graph and it keeps going. But you are going to see opportunities that will truly surprise you. That's what God is doing. The reason is because there is, there is, a, there is a season coming upon the church. There is a season coming upon God's children. When you say the church, you're referring to God's children. There's a season coming upon us. And that season is a season that God is going to use us like never before. I mean, this world is going to see the power of God like it has never seen before. I'm telling you the truth. And if you are a child of God, then get excited. Get, get enlisted in God's army. This is not the kind of army that will be frustrated. This is the army that will keep shouting for joy. Hallelujah. So, so God is preparing us and he's setting us up because, hear me, we are going to match this world with every penny. I'm telling you the truth. So God is raising an army that will be strong financially. It's an unusual army. They will be strong financially. They will match. When, when one is going to perpetrate evil, there will be righteous men to match. Now you will understand when God says one will chase a thousand and two of you will put ten thousand to fly. Now that is a prophecy. That is a word that must be fulfilled. I say this. When you count the number of God's children on earth physically and the number of the devil's children on earth, the number of the devil's children are actually more. But you see, because God knows that he has given us an unusual strength, that the world can never understand. That's why God said one of you will chase 1,000. And then he says two of you will put, he didn't say 2,000, two of you will put 10,000 to flight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm not going to forget the command of the Lord. He says we should call for our daily bread. Now, are you ready to call forth your daily bread today? Are you ready? Listen, don't call it like you used to before. Call it with a different kind of understanding today. Are you ready? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can we declare it together? Say, Father, I receive today, being the first of December, my daily bread. And I declare throughout this month of December, I will not miss any daily bread they will keep coming to me and it's coming to me in abundance in jesus name amen praise god yeah thank you holy spirit there is a lifting coming up there is a lifting coming for you in the month of december there is an opportunity god not just one opportunities god is going to open up for you so don't be surprised when people begin to call you for strange kind of partnership. 
Don't be surprised when people begin to call you by the word of the Lord. People will have dreams concerning you and they will tell you, I dreamt I was doing a particular business with you. I'm telling you this before it comes to pass so that you will know that this is from the Lord. Nobody have used your name to go and do jazz. From the Lord, people, strangers, will dream about you. And they will come to you, they will search you out. And they say, look, there is something we need to do together. When it begins to happen, know that this is the Lord. He's not just doing it just to make you happy. He's doing it because, hear me, the kingdom of God is going to be challenged. There's a season coming that the kingdom of God will be challenged. And now God knowing this is preparing us, his children, for that season. And when that season comes, we will be ready to take up the challenge. Hear me, hear me, and hear me good. We are not that generation whose head will be cut off for the gospel. No, we are that generation that will lay down our lives. And, but we know that we are not laying down our lives to lose it. We are laying down our life for his sake that we may take it up again. So we are that generation that is ready to take the risk. But the reason we are taking the risk is because we know that he will hold us. We are that generation that will proclaim the life of Christ. And that life and the reason for which Jesus came out sharing with you yesterday on who's Jesus. The reason Jesus came will be seen in our lives. We are that generation. We are that generation that will receive the life that Jesus brought. And not just receive it, we will manifest it. Manifest it in the world like they've never seen before. We are that generation that's going to show for the divine life of God. We are that generation that is going to show for that we have received eternal life. And that life is at work in us. We are that generation that will put the devil where he belongs. I'm telling you the truth. Now that's why God is loading us in this season. That's why God has set his mind. He will prepare you. He will load you up. Hallelujah. Joel prophesied concerning this day. He said, it shall come to pass in that day that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. That's what he said. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. It's a pouring out, not pouring out of. There's a difference between pouring out of my spirit and pouring out my spirit. When you say pour out of my spirit, it's like a glass of water. And you say pour out of that cup. So you, you're measuring and measuring and measuring. And it says, no, it's enough. You're what? Pouring out of. But when someone says pour out the content of that cup, he instead he just turn the thing over and let everything run out from it. That's what God is doing in this season. To do that, I'm speaking prophetically now. To do that, he has said first and foremost, he will load the church up. He will load his children up. Load them to the point that he said in Joel, says, my people shall never be ashamed. Hear me? Gone are those days where you'll be ashamed to be called a Christian. Ah, na, 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 kalo, so pray We are entering the season that people will want to be called Christians that are not. Just to be identified with us. That's the era we're entering. People want to be called Christians. They want to be like, you, are you a Christian? Uh, yes, yes, something like that. <laughs> Praise God. And you're like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, are you sure? Ah, uh, People want to identify with you. Why? By reason of the blessing that God is releasing upon his children. He said it, and that is the truth. My people shall never be ashamed. God is taking you from the realm of shame. He's taking you out of that place of shame. You will never see shame in your life again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are a child of God, if you have given your life to Jesus Christ, this is the time to be more serious. This is the time to really practice the life of being, the life of Christ. This is the time to really live like a Christian. Shut down every distraction and live like a Christian. Look up to Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of your faith. Because you know what? 
He has planned a blessing for you. He says you have been called to inherit a blessing. That inheritance is what we are talking about. That inheritance is the kind of inheritance that will take out shame from your life. Completely. Completely. Some of you listening to me now, you are in debt. You are owing. But hear me. Hear me. Miraculously. The Spirit of God is opening windows. He's opening doors for you. That you will come out of that debt in no time. You know why? Because He will not stand it that you are under the bondage of any man or any institution. So if you're owing an individual, get ready to come out. If you're owing an institution, get ready to come out. Don't accept it because the Lord is not accepting it. So when the Lord begins to open the doors, remember he wants you free. You know why he wants you free? Because he wants to use you. He wants to use you like he's never done before. And he doesn't want to use you and there's a bit of a condemnation in your heart. I don't want to go to that place because somebody I'm owing might know and think I have money now. No, sir. He wants you to come out free. He whom the Son of Man have made free is free indeed. So hear me. He has brought salvation to your spirit. Now, he is setting the agenda to bring you completely out of any hold financial hold, debt hold, whatever thing that will hold you back. Your master who saved you, his name is Jesus. He is bringing you out of that situation. So I tell you the truth. Be a Christian if you're one. And right now, even right now, 24 hour prayer watch is going on. Join us, join the next watch. I'm, I'm sharing things that you need to understand for the month, which I cannot share, you know, on this broadcast right now. But, but join the next prayer meeting. Look at your watch. This, the, the information is on the screen. Look for the closest, the next watch, and join us. Let God set your portion. Now, He has actually set your portion. The problem now is, will you find your portion? Will you find your portion? Thank you, Lord Jesus. I, I just feel led in my spirit to pray for you now. Are you ready? Are you ready? This month, Kalabraki Shabadiha. Even as I speak, there's just an excitement in my spirit. I pray for you that the Holy Spirit will carry you by himself and begin to guide you into all truth. I pray for you that the things that have held you back, many of you, you knew the right thing to do. Many years ago, you knew what was right to do, but you didn't find the boldness in your heart to do it. Right now, I declare you in the name of the Lord Jesus, courage fills your heart. Courage fills your heart. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are rising up and you are doing the will of the Lord. You are rising up and you are obeying the command of the Lord. You are rising up and you are just simply doing what God wants you to do with a heart full of courage. And that courage is, courage is from the Lord. Receive it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare you are blessed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the hand of the Lord is resting upon you throughout this month of December. Listen, the Spirit of God is carrying you step by step. He is leading you in all truth until the things that have been written in heaven concerning you will be made manifest here on earth in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare it is well with you. I declare you are making tremendous progress this month. I declare this month, every day of this month, will be excited to bring to you the things that God has commanded. This day, every day as the sun rises and the moon and comes down for the moon to rise, they will become your messenger. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will see lights like never before. And you will walk in the light. Darkness will never be a part of you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bless you today. I bless you today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Praise God. Listen, like I told you earlier, join the next prayer watch. Join us in the meeting and let God bless you like 
you've never seen before. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Have the best day ever. Bye.